part one of Fahrenheit 451 is called The Hearth and the Salamander, and it begins with an epigraph by Spanish poet Juan Ramon Jimenez. If they give you ruled paper, write the other way. It then moves into a brief description of what it means to be a fireman and the joy of burning things, the mindless pleasure that comes from it. This is given by the main character, Guy Montag. He describes the experience of burning and cleans up, deciding to go for a walk rather than to go straight home from his job, burning books. He meets Clarice McClellan, who is 17, on his walk, and he finds out that she is, in fact, his next-door neighbor. She has a natural, likable sense of curiosity about the world. She asks him about being a fireman, the meaning of it, and most importantly, asks if he's happy. The epigraph at the beginning of part one hints at the rebellion that Guy Montag will stage, like a student refusing to write in the lines. Also, it's worth noting that part one is called The Hearth and the Salamander. This links his home and occupation by a symbol of fire. A hearth, after all, is a fireplace, and fire trucks are referred to as salamanders. Now, the opening line, it was a pleasure to burn, is surprising, and it telegraphs the dystopia we're going to learn a lot more about. Burning is not a pleasure, it's a pain. It's not nice or fun to see things blackened and changed, especially books. When Montag talks with Clarice, readers learn that firemen, in fact, burn books. Fire images illustrate dual natures of fire. It destroys and brings life. It's a disturbing pleasure to be caught in the frenzy of this mindless burning. They have never read books in this world, and they don't question their actions. And we see this a lot when Clarice asks Montag simple questions that he can't answer, including if he's happy. History has been rewritten in this dystopian world. Clarice actually asks if a long time ago, Firemen actually put out fires. We can see that somewhere along the line, history has been changed. Most importantly of all, we see the cracks in Montag's foundation. Clarice has reawakened this man. He was sleepwalking through life, never thinking of what he was doing. Now this chapter is all about exposition, and it sets up Fahrenheit 451 as a journey of internal struggle and growth. <laughs>